Okay. All right. Let's uh, let's let's make a beat today. I don't think we've done that in a while. Besides, I've been getting a lot of DMs of some of you asking, especially some of the beginners, asking if you can actually make a beat from start to finish in BandLab. Um, since BandLab is pretty new to the channel, I figured we could uh, kind of explore some beat making inside of BandLab, um, specifically BandLab Mobile on the iPad. So yeah, let's uh, let's check it out. Now, before we get into making any beats, I would like to walk you through a beat that I made, probably the beat that you're hearing in the background. I'm going to walk you through how I made this and some of the basics of on what I discovered from making beats on the BandLab app on the iPad. Ah, where are my manners? I'm sorry. My name is Brandon Rico. My friends here call me Rico or Brandon or Brandon Rico, whatever. <laughs> Feel free to stick around and hit that subscribe button because we do content just like this all the time. Now, if you missed any of my previous videos that I've talked about BandLab and why it would be a good idea to get started on the iPad or any other uh, device that you may have already, go ahead and look up that video. I'll have that linked in the description somewhere, or you can just go and browse through my videos and find that video. So getting started, one of the first things you'll do is find your, uh, find your files folder and uh, go ahead and tap on an existing file. And what you'll open up is the mix editor. This is the dashboard for how you will view your, your entire mix. So let's go ahead and break down some of the things I did to make this beat. So I'm gonna go ahead and mute everything else and actually solo this instrument. This is a built-in virtual instrument called Shadow Bells. Um, this is one of many, many uh, presets that uh, BandLab has built in, presets and instruments and everything they have built in so that you can just pick and choose what you want. Uh, you can go to keyboards, I went to synth pads, and then I chose Shadow Bells here. forgot to put on my headphones. So they give you a, a, a quick little demo on, on how the instrument sounds in a composition and then you could just choose that. Um, what I did actually was, um, I'll take the effects off so you can hear it uh, without the effects. So this is what I played without the effects. And that was pretty much me typing in notes on the uh, pa piano roll, or type. Uh, you could actually play them in using the on-screen keyboard, which you can access in c a couple of different ways. So you can get some pretty cool ideas going on on the on the on screen. You don't need an external device. So I started playing that. And then I added an effect to it, which was the, I think I put the filter wah on it. So they have some built-in effects that you can use, uh, built-in effects presets. So you can go ahead and customize it to your liking, but I actually liked it the way it sounded built in. Again, here it is without the effects. Back with the, with the effects on. All right, so the next instrument that I added was the Neo Soul Pad. I also added some effects to that as well. And then you can see that I put a synth wah effect on, on that one as well. So here that is without the effects. I actually kind of like it without the effects now though. And again, these are all virtual instruments built in, built right into BandLab's uh, platform. So you don't have to purchase anything uh, or go searching for any uh, beat loops or anything like that you can punch these all in using the piano roll or the on-screen keyboard the next instrument that i added was a trap kit also provided by band lab so these are some of the cool sounds that uh so 
So I went ahead and punched that in on the piano roll as well. And then I, uh, I actually added some uh, a uh, imported sound, and then I just kind of chopped it up. Uh, I kind of chopped it up and placed it, placed this 808 sound um, kind of where I wanted it. So here's the original sound. And then finally, using the uh, sam built-in sampler, I was able to import some of my own drum sounds into BandLab. So here that is. And then for this one, I actually went in and edited the uh, the hi hat to to loop. Otherwise, it would just be a one shot loop. But since I since I played it like that. I'm able to get like a triplet hi-hat type thing going on. And you can even edit each pad just like that going forward, or you can um, record your own sound, which is something that I also demonstrated uh, in another video. So yeah, check that out. So I layered what I already had with my own sounds, again, using the piano row. mix editor and then we have a simple beat loop and from there you can go ahead and save it to the cloud and you're done <laughs> now when it comes to making a new beat from scratch in band lab it's super simple especially for those who are just getting started um, all you have to do exit out of this and uh, from the projects folder or from any from any window inside a band lab just press this red plus button and then they give you options to choose a track type so you have your import file so you can start off with a file to build around you can choose voice and audio track or you can use a sampler track to get started and even a looper track so let's go ahead and dive into the looper this may be pretty popular amongst people who are not really comfortable uh, making their own own beats beat loops and stuff like that yet from the looper page, you can actually choose from a bunch of different genres, a bunch of different templates to get started and then uh, build up, build around your track just like that. So let's go for the trap. I'm going to go with the trap volume two. Let's preview that. with that so let's go ahead and try that and then it brings up your loop table and all you have to do is tap away and get started and they have different sequences of different uh, different uh, rhythms and things that your your instruments will do
up. So let's say we like that. We like that groove. We could just hit the record button on that. So one, two, one, two, ready, record. Uh. Let's let it roll for like eight bars. Then we're gonna hit stop. We got a whole recorded loop of what we just uh, what we just made in the looper table. <laughs> so and so next, let's add another instrument. Uh, let's go with uh, let's go with some let's go with the sampler. So within the sampler, let's uh, let's go ahead and see what they got for us. Uh, So I'm going to duplicate this on like four different paths because I already know how I'm going to want to chop it up. And I'm going to just delete this one. So let's go ahead and edit this. This one. Edit. Alright, so this one starts. Try to pull something else out of these two. Edit. Okay. I like that. put an effect on that so let's add a virtual instrument Alright, so I messed up there, but that can be fixed in the piano roll. I'm happy overall with it, though. Alright. 
All right. I can go ahead and add an effect to that and give it a different shimmer, different little little shine to it. If I want to, I can go ahead and go into the sampler and let's import my own sounds in this mug. One, two, three, four. Actually, I want to duplicate this. And then this one, I'm going to go ahead and put on a loop. So for beginners, you can see very well how this can turn into something really, really dope. That actually took a little bit longer than I expected, but only because I'm learnt, still learning the BandLab user interface. Like I said, for beginners, this can be a really good tool, especially because of all of the loops and um, rhythms and built-in sounds that are available to you to go ahead and get started and experiment with, um, as well as all, all of the other features was something that we'll touch on in a later video. But yeah, you can make some full solid loops and um, even grab some inspiration from the things that are already built into BandLab and the BandLab app. I'm Brandon Rico. Thanks again for rocking with me this long throughout the video. I think it was pretty cool experimenting with beat making inside of BandLab. Let me know what you think about the process of making beats inside of BandLab or creating full songs or even some of the built-in presets and effects and instruments from BandLab. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And if you have any more questions, just continue to do what you're doing. Hit me up on Instagram, on Twitter. Um, hit my DMs and make sure you ask me those questions so I can cover them in some more future videos for this or anything else that we do here on this channel. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. I'm Brandon Rico. Thanks for rocking with me. Thanks for rocking with the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.